UnbelievableBeats.com production. Hi, this is Sean Friedman from UnbelievableBeats.com. Wanted to do a tutorial today on the preview track in FL Studio and also using the browser and those two concepts go hand in hand. And this is crucial for mixing and adding sounds to your composition. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to audio settings and this is the basis of the tutorial. On the audio tab, if you didn't know about this part right here, it says preview mixer track. What that means is any sound you preview in your browser is going to go straight to the mixer while you're previewing it with your mouse or your arrow on your keyboard. So you scroll over this number and you can go up and down. Uh, I'm going to set it to 20. And this is 20 right here. This here is my mic input. That's why that's showing some audio right there. But number 20 I set for the preview mixer track. Rename, you can say preview, exclamations. And you can also add a tiny bit of reverb to this as well. I'm going to take the reverb off, but real quick, I just set 20 as the mixer track. And if you look over here, I'm using my mouse and my finger on the browser, and it's going right into 20. So while something is playing, so I was doing that with my mouse on this little hi-hat, but the thing is why this is so crucial is you can adjust the volume and also, let's see, this is a preview track. I'm going to add a little reverb send. Now let's listen to this. And another tip and trick, make sure you're paying attention here. On the reverb send, you want to set this low end straight down, and that's just going to open up your reverb a little bit for previewing certain sounds. You don't always have to do it, but it takes away some of the low end energy, and it can make your claps and other type of percussion stand out as far as percussion is concerned. Okay, and let's keep this going. Preview track, I added a little reverb. And on the actual send channel, I lowered the low end, back to the preview track, back to the song. Now I'm previewing it. So any of those could work in the song. And also sometimes it might be too loud or too soft. And that's crucial because you don't want to bypass certain sounds that, hey, maybe they could have worked in your song but you had it so loud or so soft, you couldn't really hear how it's getting mixed in while your song is playing. So preview mixer track is huge. All right, hopefully this helps out with your projects. Sean Friedman, unbelievablebeats.com, signing off. Uh, you can also check out globalheatwave.com, 20,000 free wave samples. Take care and good luck with your projects.